One of the key things that we need to keep in mind when we're talking about identity and belonging is that a big part of, make, of what makes up who we are and where we feel like we belong is in fact who we have emotional attachments to, who it is that we love. Now, in Witness there's the very obvious love story between John Book and Rachel Lapp, and that I don't think many people miss. But the other thing that I think is a really key part of, um, of John Book's identity, which can be overlooked, is his relationship with Samuel. Um, Rachel's son. Here we have John Book talking to his sister, giving her a hard time about the fact that she's got a man coming over when um, she's got when she's got her kids asleep upstairs. And John Book's a very serious kind of guy, and he's very self-righteous. But you get the feeling that family is very important to him, even though he doesn't actually have a family of his own beyond his sister. You know, he doesn't have kids of his own, but he still acts quite paternal. And when we first see him meet Samuel, we see him getting down to Samuel's level and making eye contact with him, and there's this very immediate rapport between them. And you see this in basically every shot they're in together, when Samuel's flipping through the books looking for the murderer, there's John Book with his arm around him, and later on in this scene we see the very strong eye contact between these two. They have such a strong rapport they don't even need to use words to communicate with each other. It's very much a father-son dynamic. So you see Samuel looking there in the um, display case. He looks at Book. Book finally notices him and again they haven't actually exchanged a word but he comes over knowing that it's serious and he puts Samuel's hand down and puts his sort of arm around him to protect him. So there's this very strong kind of father-son bond there and I think it's clear that um, that this is a key part of Book's identity. This kind of fatherliness which com comes out when he's dealing with Samuel. We see this later on when he charges in to save Samuel when Samuel's playing with the gun and once he's calmed down he actually explains to him and lets him uh, look at the gun. We see them out on the farm together. Um, again, could very easily be a photo of father and son. Towards the end of the film, when John Book is about to leave, he makes this toy for Samuel. Now, obviously, it's a sign of affection that he makes him a toy before he goes. But I think what's also important is that it's an imper perfect present for Samuel. You know, it is suitable for an Amish kid. It's something he made himself. Um, it's respectful of what Samuel's going to be interested in, and he's genuinely very interested in it. So again, you know, further evidence of this. And later on in the film, we in fact see that when John Book realises the danger, his immediate concern is about keeping Samuel safe. And likewise, Samuel, although he's been told to run and get help and stay safe himself, he puts himself in danger to help Book and his mum and his community. But there's a very strong bond between those two. You get the feeling they certainly feel like they belong with each other, even if ultimately they in fact don't get to stay together. Um, and I think it's interesting that in actual fact there's this the goodbye to the kid. I think a part of um, Book's identity is clearly that he would like to stay with Rachel, but I also think, and quite independently of Rachel, um, you get the feeling he would like to stay with Samuel too, that he would like to keep being a father to this boy. So anyhow, there's some thoughts for you.